Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crop in Photoshop. I'm also going to show you how to create an action for it to make it go even quicker. Currently, I have a file opened of this kind of hand-drawn donut that I want to save as a um, transparent PNG but I wanna get rid of this excess space around it. So one way that you can crop a photo or an object like this is, first you're gonna make a selection with the marquee tool. It is M on the keyboard, or you can click on the marquee tool here in the tools panel. And then you can just drag out a rectangle. And when you have your rectangle still selected and, and maybe you wanna move it, you can hit the S space bar, which will allow you to uh, reposition your selection. Um, and then you can continue to uh, change it up here if you want. So we'll just create a, um, a selected rectangle here. And then to crop it, you're gonna go to image and select crop and that will cause it to uh, crop down to that selected area. So let's go ahead and undo that, Command or Control Z, and we are going to create an action for that. So go ahead and open up your Actions panel. Um, to do that, you're gonna go to Window and select Actions. Currently, I have it open. Currently, I have my actions on button mode, so we'll just go to the menu icon here and just turn it off of button mode. And then I have just my full list of actions here and so let's go ahead and create a new action set so i'm going to hit this folder icon and we'll just name it crop object here clicking on ok and then let's go ahead and create a new action from this so i'm going to click the plus icon and we'll just go crop from selection and then it's in our crop object um, action set and then you can always um, give it a, a color if you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit record. In this case, we already have something selected. And so now we just want a quick um, action that will uh, cause it to crop. So to access the menu items here on top, you need to go to the three line icon and then you're gonna go insert menu item. From here, we can select image and crop and then you'll see that here under the menu item and then you can click on OK and then I'm going to uh, stop this for a moment and then um, when you do these menu items they don't actually happen um, they get recorded in the action but they don't actually happen so I'm gonna go to image and then manually select crop and then to finish off this action, we are just going to get rid of the selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record again. And then we're just going to do the keyboard shortcut for deselect, which is command or control D. And then we'll go ahead and stop our action there. So we have our uh, action here, crop from selection. So let's go ahead and undo command or control Z, command or control Z and we have um, back to our uncropped image here. So we've made our selection, we'll hit our action, crop from selection, we'll hit play, and then we see that it has cropped to our um, given selection that we did. So this is one action that you can do to um, crop from a selected area. And then we're gonna create one more action as well um, to help with this process. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that again, Command or Control Z, um, just to get back to our original. We'll um, deselect this here, Command or Control D to deselect. And so we have our object here. We'll just access our Move tool here, V on the keyboard. And then for this next action, I am going to um, select my layer before I record. And what you can do with a layer to uh, select that um, object is when you hover over this uh, thumbnail icon and you hit Command or Control click, it will select that object of that layer. And so, so we're gonna use this function with our next action to um, use this selection to have it crop to the size of our our object here. So let's go ahead and deselect that, Command or Control D. 
So before you start your action, uh, make sure your layer is uh, selected here. So we'll create a new action. We'll hit that plus icon. Uh, this time I'm going to call it crop um, layer. And then we'll just go ahead and record that there. So we already have our layer selected. We're just going to do uh, the same step. We're just going to go command or control click on that icon. It will make a selection. And then we are going to access our menu items. We'll have to go um, our action options here. We'll go insert menu item. Again, we're going to select image, crop, and we can see it here. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then let's go ahead and stop that. We'll actually crop our image here. We'll record again. And then this time we'll just deselect um, the selection here. So Command or Control D uh, just to get rid of that selection. And then we'll go ahead and stop it there. So we have our new action here. We'll go ahead and undo all that. Command or Control Z. I'm getting back uh, to this part here. So we have our donut. We'll click on that layer. We'll click on crop layer, we'll hit play, and as we can see, it will automatically crop our a document to the size of our object. Just to demonstrate it again with a different um, clip art here, I will go ahead and click on that layer. We'll click on our crop layer action. We'll hit play, and as we can see, it has sized uh, to these donuts. So, so we can see that this action works with a different object as well. Thank you for watching this video on how to crop an image in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.